Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA course tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get or pass the selected multiple column list box values into an another worksheet. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output of our application. If I select Jack, student number two is Jack, student name is uh, student number two I have selected student name is Jack and mobile number. Let's check here. So here we got the records. If I click six student number six, here we got the student number six. If I select student number one, here we got the student number one details. So in this video tutorial, I have explained what are the values I have selected from this list box. I'm passing into the sheet two from sheet one to sheet two. See here we got. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video tutorial. In that video tutorial, I have explained how to add the headers to a list box control. Notice here the list box headers, student number, student name, and mobile number are fixers. Even when I scroll the list box, if you don't know how to create this one, I have showed in my previous video. We'll get that link in my Excel playlist. So now let's start the today's tutorial. Now my aim is, if a if a user select any particular value, particular row from this list box, for example, I have selected the student number four, student name is Vamshi and mobile number. I want to pass this selected row, the multiple columns, sheet number two. What are the values, the row I selected? So for that, I'm using the VBA code. So to create the VBA code, go to developer. Now we need to go to the design mode. So in the developer, there is a controls design mode. Here I have already created the list box. So double click that one. Here we got the list box one, the click event. Now the code is it's very simply I have explained. I need to pass the uh, data from sheet one to sheet two. Sheet two, the range I'm adding. Sheet two dot the range. In the range takes the cell values, the cell name. So where I want to print in the sheet two. Let's add the A1 cell. I want to print here. If you want, you can select any cell name. But I'm adding the A1 cell colon A1 uh, double quotes A1 A1 dot value dot value is equals to now in the list box the list box one dot column column is a method. And this method takes Two parameters first one is a, the column number the column number is we have we have three columns here um, zero is student number one one is student name and three two is mobile number so let's add zero comma now the argument index is the list box one dot column uh, list index list index here we have the list index that's it now let's run this application we'll check the output now i'm selecting the four file which is student number five story name is raju and mobile number is this one if i check sheet two so here we got the five here but i have not getting the student name and student mobile number so what I'll do is I can switch over to the coding part. We have passed only the column zero only. We need to pass, copy this one. This is B1. The column one, I want to get in B1 cell. This is one. And this is C1. C1. This is column number two is um, mobile, day, mobile number. That's it. Let's run this application. And notice here we got now let's select another record now let's check the final output of our application if i select 
Jack. Student number two is Jack. Student name is uh, student number two. I have selected student name is Jack and mobile number. Let's check here. So here we got the records. If I click six student number six, here we got the student number six. If I select student number one, here we got the student number one details. So in this video tutorial, I have explained what are the values I have selected from this list box i'm passing into the sheet 2 from sheet 1 to sheet 2 see here we got that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to pass a variable how to pass the data from a list box multi-column list box from one excel sheet to the another excel sheet thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial